Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays because I love performing love songs. I hope you guys do too. I love doing Valentine's gigs where I get to do a lot of my favorite Broadway songs, songs like What I Did for Love, and then songs that I wrote, Broadway medleys, fun stuff like that. I've performed at a lot of different Valentine's, oh, like luncheons and dinners and things like that over the years. And it's been fun to just see all the different people and all the stories that they have around love songs with their relationships. In fact, my husband and I met in college choir. So uh, we're one of those cheesy choir couples, right? Where we met our freshman year, we started dating on choir tour and then we got engaged our senior year on choir tour. So everything kind of lined up all around choir tour, which is, I know, super cheesy, but you know, everyone thinks it's romantic and it is romantic because we both love music. So I love that music has that power to bring people together. And when I get to do these Valentine's events, it's fun to see people and like, you know, they're having their 50th wedding anniversary. I have a couple that's a friend of mine that actually has their anniversary on Valentine's Day, which is really fun. Um, and so I just want to encourage you guys, if get some love songs in your repertoire. I know people even now during the pandemic that are still doing Valentine's events, even if they have to be virtually, because people just love the timelessness of love songs. Now, sometimes when you're doing love songs at a performance, they can attract the wrong people. One time I was singing at a performance and there was a guy that came up to me afterward and he started talking and telling me all about how he wanted to do this this ministry and how he was gonna go out and, and perform all these places, but he just needed a wife to go with him and he thought that I would be the perfect candidate for that. So luckily my mom was helping me out with the uh, merch table and she kind of realized that I need, I was in a little bit of trouble with this guy. So she came in and kind of butted in and started talking to him and was helped me be able to get away from him. So sometimes love songs attract the wrong people, but most of the time they are just such an amazing vehicle for great feelings and just bringing people together. So happy Valentine's Day to you. I hope you're out there singing love songs, whether you're recording at home or you're out there performing in some way that you can right now. Enjoy your Valentine's Day.